I was going to move to Sweden originally. I applied there, but they had a refugee crisis and things got backed up for a couple of years. And then they told me, oh, you couldn't speak the Swedish language and barbering's not a viable trade, so they turned me down. I laughed at them. I said, you have millions of people that come into your country that refuse to do anything, and I want to bring a viable business, and you turn me down. But I gave up on them a lot of time before that. I decided to move to Russia. I feel free in this country. I feel free, more free in Russia than I ever did in America. My whole life in America, they told me Russia is the worst country in the world. Russia's poor. Russia people are so bad. Russia's dirty. I never believed it. I arrived at the airport in 2014 to come here to teach barber classes. I stepped out of the airport, took a cab to the center of Moscow, and I walked around for about 10 minutes. I said, everything I cannot stand about America is not here. This is a beautiful country. The Russian people are so beautiful. I feel so free here. So I said, I'm going to go back to America, save all my money for the next two and a half, three years, and work in Los Angeles, bring it all to Russia, open my business, and never live back there again. I arrived June 20th, 2016. Within one week, I met with my lawyer, paid him the fees. He got me my, made me a Russian taxpayer, got me my visas, everything established my business registered my company and I accomplished more in one week in Moscow than I did in two and a half years trying to move to Europe. Okay. And uh, Russia wants you to bring business to this country. They don't create problems for you. Many countries, uh, you need to have millions and millions of dollars in the bank to even back up. You don't need that in Russia. They want to give you a chance in this country to prove yourself, you know, to bring your viable business to this country. And that's what I love about this country. I came to Moscow in December um, and I looked for a place to open my business and I needed something with a viable street location. Um, if my only gripe in this city maybe would be rental prices in the direct center because it's opening a business for a direct center location like this with a street traffic where people can see you, it's very expensive in direct center. If not, you're on a second floor or back line. And for a barber shop, I need a street location. I picked this place because this is much like how an American barbershop would be set up in America, the same kind of size room and everything. And um, so I, you know, I opened, I spent time, I found this place, found great landlords, and I really like this district, because the business district, many people. Um, my only other gripe I would say about Russia is, I do not understand how so many people take so many vacations in this country or take off so much. For instance, I got the keys to the shop December 28th. I wanted to start working and building the shop January 1st. I couldn't find anybody to help me work for the first 10 days of January. I understand like, you know, in America we'll take a couple days, but Russians, they take off for like two weeks at a time just partying. And I'm just like, I don't understand this. I don't, you know, but it's all good. But that was probably my biggest shock is that, but you know, and the weather's not bad. I grew up on the east coast of America, so I'm used to cold weather. And I always tell people all the time, I will take snow and rain and crappy weather the rest of my life, 365 days a year, if I do not have to live in America. Well, I want to open many more barber shops all across Russia, barber schools, and obviously do political things. That's one of my biggest aspirations in this country. I'm going to open a barber shop in Krim which, as I said before, it's a, this is a direct violation of U.S. sanctions, and I'm directly willing to do this because it's in my heart. So that right there is going to get me a lot of media attention off it. It puts me in a position that, to the Russian people saying, you know, I'm with you guys. You know, and that's honestly what I feel. But I want to open many barber shops, a barber school in Moscow. I want to open in other cities. I want to open in St. Petersburg, uh, Tumen, uh, all across the country because I've seen how it is and there's many viable places to open businesses in this country so open tattoo shop barber shops I'd also eventually like to open a Mexican restaurant here in Moscow uh, there is no good Mexican food here in Russia and I would like to partner up with somebody from America to bring that California style burrito to Moscow my ultimate dream in Moscow would be I would like to open like a music club slash bar slash barber shop we have live music, um, old school American style food, and rock and roll and country music. It would be a lot like, uh, like a roadhouse like saloon that we would have in America. That would be one of my ultimate dreams that I would like to do in the center of Moscow. 
And uh, this country is the land of opportunity for me, man. You know, I wake up with hope here and I can accomplish anything I set my mind to in this country.